Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at um, correlations, so we're getting correlation tables in uh, R. Uh, we're going to see how to do it using basic R, base R, and then we're also going to do something we haven't done in any previous videos, which is download a package. Um, I'll talk about that when we when we get to it. So um, in in this in this base package, uh, we're going to play around with our MMM data set. Um, if I just bring it up there, but our MMM data set has variables of all types, and it doesn't really make sense to talk about correlations between character variables or, or factor variables. So I'm going to just do a bit of uh, voodoo here, so to speak. I'm going to talk about how to select particular types of variables later on, but I don't want to go over it now. But if you just bear with me and believe that this bit of code here will uh, give you um, just the numeric variables, uh, let, let's see how, how that works. So there, um, that bit of code there, and we'll come to it in a bit. I mean, basically, what is happening is saying take all the rows, because I'm not putting anything in the first thing, and then only take the columns that, that are numeric. But we'll we'll see that later on. Um, we get we get this. So if I create a new object, which is um, mmm num, so the numeric variables of mmm, and just assign um, this to it. And now if I type here or anywhere mm num we get we have those variables. So the immediate thing that we can do um, is get correlation of um, mmm num. And so if I run that we get our little correlation matrix. But it doesn't give any test of um, significance. So to get some test of significance between two particular variables, um, we can use the the core dot test, and now we can che uh, check some variables. For example, let's do age against mmm dollar height dot in dot meters. And there we see um, something that we're perhaps a bit more familiar with. With correlation tables. Now that's all fine and that works, but uh, you know you have to kind of work with it. Now um, R is an open source uh, language package, which is great because that means anyone can add to it. But you don't actually add to it; you build a little package. So um, you can write a little package that solves a particular type of problem, and you just make that available to anyone who wants it. And that's what's one of R's huge strengths, because researchers often develop R packages and as stuff is being invented it's already available so so R is great for that and anyway um, there's a nice little package called hmisc which has got some nice correlation in there so here's the code to install it so install.packages and then we have to write the string of the package so hmisc and we can uh, run that so it comes up asking me to choose a mirror I'm not sure I feel like going today, um, so uh, let's, uh, well I'm actually visiting the US at the moment, so I'll, I'll go close to home. Um, so if I run that, um, it'll now download um, the, uh, the package, it'll take a little while. Okay, and so now that um, that package has been uh, installed, we still need to load it for this particular R session, um, and we can use the require um, command to do so. So um, we just run that. That's all being loaded, and now um, we can uh, we can use it to, to actually see packages are loaded. Use the search uh, command. If we, we look at that, and um, we now see that the package hmisc is um, there and now we can use it. So remember, we had the uh, mmm um, num uh, data frame, just numerical variables of mmm num, which we used this particular bit of code here to do. Um, now, what we need to do is turn that into a matrix. And now, again, we haven't really looked at that before, but uh, the way to do that, so mmm. Math, we're going to call it, 
is simply as dot matrix m m m none. That's because the function from hmisc that we're going to use needs to have this in a matrix form. This is currently a data frame. It's a different class of objects. So if we run that, and then if I just call in mmm map, we see that things look very similar, but it's not actually a data frame. Okay? And then we can simply run the rcore function, which is a new function from the hmisc package on mmm map. And if we run that, we're getting a nice uh, correlation matrix with uh, p-values and what not. And that's basically um, how to do some correlation analysis in R. So we've seen a few things. How to do it in base R, recording that we need to force um, to only consider numerical variables if we're using the core. Or we can just test correlations between two, um, particular, two particular variables using core.test. And this is very important here. This is how to install a package. Once you can do that, you can really do anything in R because there's most probably a package for anything you want to do in R. Uh, we will see a few more packages later on. Search is how to see what package you've got installed, sorry, on the session. And then uh, to use the R core function, you need to convert uh, something into a matrix.